the Commonwealth commits to support our member states in mobilising action in support of a sustainable future. Our collective aim is to equip our young people to have the opportunity to learn and attain skills in the fight against climate change. Over the next four years, we will focus our efforts on education for sustainable development using formal and non-formal approaches. We believe in building resilience through education, encouraging the integration of climate change and ocean science into the curriculum, helping member states to align their national education policies to the sustainable development goals and Commonwealth values. Our Commonwealth heads of state have already committed to prepare young people in the Commonwealth to face novel challenges and to remain sustainable and resilient in the face of emerging global challenges. The Republic of North Macedonia is a young country and we understand that we cannot solve the climate crisis without the youth. This is why during the preparation of our enhanced NDC, we made sure that we enable meaningful engagement and participation of our youth by providing a range of digital as well as conventional platforms for their inclusion. The Ministry of Environment and Physical Planning recognised education as a top cross-cutting issue in our long-term strategy for climate action by 2050. We developed a set of policies and measures addressing it. The new curricula and the planned extracurricular activities in the primary schools motivate young people to treat the environment with more care. In the secondary education, the students are directed to choose more from the green jobs. The Government of Jersey pledges to put children first in our response to the climate emergency. We will continue to actively involve young people and students as we work towards becoming net zero. Improving climate education and learning are vital in our efforts to tackle climate change. We recognise that building a sustainable future is part of lifelong learning and must begin early in childhood. The Sierra Leone government pledges to develop new resources on climate education for primary and secondary schools aligned to the national schools curriculum. This initiative, which seeks to develop action competence in young people, will be delivered through a collaboration between the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Environment and will be implemented by 2035. Over the next 10 years, we'll focus our efforts on the building of youth leadership programs to ensure all students have the opportunity to learn and attain skills in the fight against climate change. Her Majesty's Government of Gibraltar recognise fully that climate education is a crucial component in the fulfilment of a pupil's right to quality education. We recognise that teachers need training, support and resources and we commit to providing all of these so that they are able to effectively and inclusively integrate sustainability and climate education into their areas of responsibility. We pledge to connect information technology, digital literacy, critical thinking, teamwork and real-world engagement so that our young people can be empowered and enabled to make a difference in the fight against climate change. 세계적인 기후 위기 속에서 한국은 환경 교육의 중요성에 주목하고 있습니다. 이에 교육부는 교육 기본법 개정을 통해 모든 국민을 대상으로 한 환경 교육의 법적 근거를 마련하였고 2024년부터 단계적으로 적용 예정인 개정 초중 등 교육 과정 내에 생태 전환 교육에 관한 내용도 포함하였습니다. On behalf of the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of Armenia, I want to confirm that we are determined to further streamline ecological education in our formal education. I want to pledge that we will keep supporting youth initiatives of ecological nature aimed at development of the climate positive behavior as well as mitigation of the climate change impact. Thank you.